Bex Mill is its own small town. I was surprised to learn that. Angie Ohm and Raymond Lee with Friends of Bex Mill. Uh, thank you all so much for having us, first of all. No, thank you. We appreciate you being here. Tell me a little bit about what Bex Mill is for people who have never been here, who may not have heard about the place before. Bex Mill is a place that's just full of history. We would love for folks to come out and see what we're all about. If you love nature, love history, um, if you just want a great place to come out and spend a, um, a great afternoon um, having a picnic with family and friends, we're the great destination for that. Raymond, talk about some of the things that happen here. Uh, we've got a blacksmith shop, we've got a carpenter shop, we've got a cabin that came from Greenville, Ohio, uh, a duplicate of what was here. Uh, we've, we've got a wool operation, we grind and uh, make white and corn, yellow cornmeal and, and grits. Uh, the wool operation upstairs, they, they had a way of making a living year round. I can't help but notice how peaceful it sounds, the sound that I'm getting from the water. I see the hiking trails behind us. It's got to be a great place just to come and be every day. What excites you most about being here? Um, I think it's absolutely amazing that in the early 1800s, the Beck family um, just very bravely uh, tr made their trek here and their journey here, found this beautiful location for a mill. And they were able to adjust and adapt and uh, persevere. And the, through their many generations and through the help of uh, the folks in the community and through uh, Bill and Gail Cook, we were able to actually uh, keep this mill going. And it's still running and operating uh, to this day. Um, as of August 1st uh, this year, the mill will still continue to be open uh, Saturdays 11 to 4 and Sundays 1 to 4 uh, through October. So uh, folks come on out and uh, see us grind corn, um, learn more about the history uh, here at the mill and about the wonderful um, journey that the Beck family um, had here at the mill. And Raymond, I know from talking to you before the cameras start rolling, there's a lot of history that lives in your head about this place. Obviously, I can't go all the way down the rabbit hole, but what is it that you think uh, that people should really know about this place? Well, the Becks still have an active cemetery for Becks members. Uh, there's over three miles of trails back here. There's four different trails, so you can pick your level of what you want to go to. Uh, history is one of my major things, I love history. This, this place just is full of history. And I think it sounds like a great place for people to come and just relax, but certainly for parents to bring their children and, and learn all about the history. How can people find you guys? Um, the best way is to go online to our website, uh, friendsofbexmill.org. Um, you can find our most recent and updated list of events, upcoming events. Um, for example, this fall and, and every year, we always have a 5K. So for those of you that like to run or walk, we have that as an annual event. We also have a great uh, list of fall events that happen. Oktoberfest is a great hit every year in the fall as well. That's great. I know from talking to you guys before the cameras were rolling, as I said a, a second ago, uh, you've got a lot of things coming up and I know you're excited about it. Bex Mill here, not far from Salem, Indiana, but Bex Mill, its own town. Great place to come and visit. Guys, thank you so much for having us. Thank you for coming.